Hi, my name is Mackenzie and welcome back to my channel. So today, obviously I'm wearing glasses. I don't usually wear glasses. Actually, I don't even need glasses, but I was sent a pair of glasses by Firmu. They are really good quality glasses that um, are for a very decent price. I got these for $20 and even if you want them just for style, if you don't wear glasses, they're super cute. And you can also get the prescription glasses that you need. So this video is kind of sponsored, but it's kind of not. I was just sent these glasses and uh, told to talk about them, but um, I'm not being paid for this. This is just um, something that I actually genuinely like and I wanted to let you guys know how I felt about it. There's going to be a voucher code down in the description box love Kenzie if you guys use that you can get your first pair free that does not include shipping but if you guys need a backup pair of glasses you guys can go ahead and use that code down below and the website is also really easy to use if you use the link down below it'll take you to this page and this page only is where you can get the discount using my code these are the glasses that I chose to pick um, they come in two different colors but obviously I chose black and it shows you them from every angle. And you can see that they're $19, so I selected those lenses. Um, when you click distance, it shows you that you can actually add in your prescription, and then you can move on to the next tab, which says reader. And when you select that, you can click your magnification. Then you can do a uh, computer blue light blocking. Also, you have to put in your prescription as well, and you can do bifocal and progressive, the line, and then there's the non-RX, and if you, when you choose the lens thickness if you choose free obviously there's no extra charges but if you choose anything else it'll be an additional charge here is also where you can click the lens colors um, also if you do that it will be an additional charge but you can turn them into sunglasses so I just clicked free and then I proceeded to check out this so I'm going to just proceed and I'm going to enter my name and all of that stuff and once you're done adding your address you will click save and click standard shipping and then enter the promo code love Kenzie with two eyes and click redeem and your total should go down all right so the first thing I'm going to say is if you guys need glasses to put your makeup on or like you can't see without your glasses, I suggest getting a magnifying mirror so that um, it makes it easier for you to see the fine details. Um, you can also just um, wear glasses or do what you do in that regard. I'm going to be doing a makeup look that suits the glasses that I received. So take these tips with a grain of salt. They're just to give advice. I'm not telling you what you should do. I'm just giving you guys some tips on makeup when it comes to wearing glasses. When wearing glasses, you don't want your glasses um, that are touching your face, you don't want them to smudge your makeup. So the first thing you're gonna need is a long wearing primer. The primer that I use is this Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer. This is a 12 hour perfecting primer. So this has long wear, which is perfect for glasses that are touching your face. I'm just gonna be adding this primer right here and then rubbing it in all over my face. I'm gonna focus it right here because this is where the glasses touch my face. My next tip is to go in with a long lasting or a um, waterproof foundation. So I'm gonna be going in with my Infallible Pro Matte L'Oreal Foundation. This is a 24 hour foundation, so it will not move for 24 hours. So that is great for people who wear glasses. Then to blend this out, I'm gonna be going in with my Morphe M439 brush. Now that my foundation is blended in, we're gonna go to the next step. The next step is concealer. So when wearing glasses, sometimes it can cast a shadow down on your eyes and it can make it seem like you have dark circles or it can accentuate your dark circles. So a good tip is going in with a bit of concealer. I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser for dark circles. To blend this in, I'm gonna be using this uh, flat top brush that I have and I'm just gonna be pressing it into the skin and I'm not gonna be rubbing it. You don't want your concealer to streak. You want it to just be pressed into those dark circles. Another tip, you can also use your fingertips when blending out your concealer. 
Next, we need to set our face with a powder so that this uh, liquid foundation doesn't come off or transfer onto our glasses and it will keep all of the foundation in place. To set my under eyes, I'm gonna use a brightening powder and this is the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Banana and this is going to help keep that concealer nice and bright under the eyes. In normal makeup tutorials, people usually highlight on the forehead and the chin and down the nose as well, but today I'm gonna skip out on that step. So just taking some of that powder and pressing it where I put that concealer and on my eyes as a base for eyeshadow. This will keep everything nice and bright and in place all day while wearing glasses. I have two powders that I really love. This is a loose, finely milled powder and then I have a pressed powder. Today I think I'm gonna be using my Mary Kay Loose powder in bronze one because I like the feel of it and it really does keep my makeup in place all day. So just with a little powder brush, I'm gonna be taking a little bit and then dusting that on my face. Next for the cheeks, a tip for wearing glasses is I would always go for a pinky tone on your cheeks because your skin is really going to be the focus when you're wearing glasses. Obviously your glasses are gonna have some focus, but your face around your glasses is obviously what's gonna show. So you want to have a nice, fresh, awake looking skin. So taking this blush by NYX, it is in the color Crimson. I'm just gonna be placing that on the apples of my cheeks and working it back. So you can see that brightened up my face a little bit. So I don't like to go ham with the contour, but you can contour as well. What I like to do is just kind of contour just this little part by my ear and just work it my way up the temple. I just focus it in here because I don't feel the need to drag it down my entire face. I want my face to look nice and fresh. And I contoured using the L'Oreal True Match Press Powder in C8. Next, I think highlighting is a very important part of the skin. It makes your skin look younger and more awake and fresh and dewy. So I'm just gonna add some highlighter right above my blush and this will peek out right below my glasses. So taking my Becca highlighter in Topaz, I'm gonna be putting that above my blush. Now for eyeshadow, I think we should keep the lids nice and bright. So going in with my Morphe 35F palette, I'm just gonna be taking some of these transition colors and putting that in the crease. It is okay to go darker in the crease, but you wanna try to stay lighter on the lids. I'm blending this color in with my Morphe 514 brush. Then going in with this more, it doesn't show up red, but in person this is a redder tone. I'm gonna be going in with this red tone and placing it just below the crease. I want a nice gradient transition down my eyelid. And then I'm gonna go in with this, the furthest color on this palette, um, and I'm gonna be using this as a base for the shimmer colors I will apply after. I just wanted to brighten up that lid just a little bit. I'm using, I'm doing this with my M330 brush. So going into the same palette, I'm gonna be sweeping my brush across these three shimmer shades and placing that where I placed this base right here. And then I'm just going to sweep that across my lid. Now, if you have colored frames, uh, don't be afraid to try to match your frames with your eyeshadow. You can do that. I just suggest going a shade lighter. So if you had blue frames, try going a shade lighter than your frames for the lid and then always use a darker color in the crease and blend everything out. And it should look great. You can also go the natural look as well. For eyeliner, I suggest the thicker your frames, the thicker your eyeliner. Now don't go crazy with thick eyeliner. I just think that if your glasses are thin, you want to keep the eyeliner thinner so that the eyeliner doesn't take up most of the space that's in your glasses. So going in with my Stila liner, I'm just going to line my lashes, not too thick, but not too thin. Remember to always start thinner in the corner and then you can gradually get thicker. Now it's time for mascara. So what you're gonna wanna do so that your eyelashes don't touch your glasses and so that your mascara doesn't smear on the frames is you're gonna want to curl your lashes. Now I suggest if you're gonna put eyeliner on the top and bottom of your eyes that you don't necessarily need to put mascara on your bottom lashes. If you are going to wear a white eyeliner in your waterline, then I suggest using mascara on your bottom eyelashes. For me, I do like black mascara on my waterline, so I'm going to be doing that.
And then I'm gonna be applying two coats of mascara on my upper lashes. I actually decided that I do want to put mascara on my bottom lashes. I just feel a little bit naked without it. So go ahead and do what you want with your mascara. Okay, my camera keeps shutting off. But next we're just gonna go to brows. You wanna make sure that your brows are nice, arched, and clean. Um, I don't get my brows done, so um, they're probably not that clean, but I am going to fill them in a bit and just uh, make sure that they're brushed up. So to do this, I'm gonna be using my NYX brow pencil. Now, finally, we are onto the lips. I think that when you're wearing glasses, since your face is the main focus, that you can go bold with your lips. I'm gonna be using the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Baca. So, I'm just gonna be applying this. All right, so now all there is left to do is stick my glasses on.